Hi guys, welcome back to Paper Confessions. I'm Karamia and today we are going to do a review and tutorial using these Magic Window Slider die set from Global Land. With pages, I collect children's books and I wanted to show you one that reminded me of this Magic Window Slider and they're called Revolving Pictures. Now this type of paper engineering has been around since the 1800s. This is a reproduction of this book. I want to show you a page where it shows you the image and then when you slide it, it shows you another image underneath. I think it's so fun and interactive. I'm hoping one day I can recreate a little mini album with pictures and images um, using this slider. But today I'm going to be showing you how to use all of these components in this die set and we will make a box topper in a card. So. I'm going to show you how to use the circle die first. This is what you will be using to cut out the image that you will reveal underneath. So now that I've picked out the image that I want to put underneath, this is what I'm picking. You can definitely pick a picture or a flower, um, a painting, a drawing. In this case, I wanted to use text as a message reveal. So I picked this scrapbook paper. So I'm going to cut out that circle and then show you the next step. Now we have our circle die image. I have glued it on top of a six by six paper pad. And the next part is to put our second die. And you'll notice that this one has an arrow. And what that means is that is the top part of our image. And at the bottom, you'll see this square. And that is the bottom part. So I'm going to lay this down on our paper and I'm going to cut it out and show you what that looks like. So now we have our second die on top of our paper. You can see that the triangle part is on the top and the square is at the bottom. This is important because once we put our pieces together, um, it will be the right orientation for the image so that you can see that the letters are right side up and not the opposite. Okay, I'll be right back. I'm going to run this through my cuddle bug. So this is what it looks like once our two pieces of paper are cut together. Now let me grab the third die and show you the top portion of our card. This is the third die from this uh, set. And you can see again, we have the triangle and the square at the bottom. So I am going to go ahead and put this through my cuddle bug and then we shall put this all together. Now I have our two pieces of cards here. One is for the top and one is for the bottom. We will be using the other smaller dice in just a sec, but let me show you how to put this together. So we know that this is the top side just because you can see the letters are up there. Um, so when we put it through, you are going to put this little tab on the bottom right, right here. And you know that it's aligned once you see that your circle at the center of our card shows up there. So I hope that you can see this. Hold on one sec. There it is. Now I did notice that they had these slots and they actually don't have a real purpose, but I know that another die set that I saw, I think it was from by Angela Pool, you would actually slip this underneath your paper, but it doesn't work for this one. So you would leave it as is. That's how it's going to look. And so you would lift this, lift this part here and tuck it in right here. And then continue to do that process with the rest of your little cutouts there. So we are going to just go through the circle, lift and tuck. We have one more. All right. Once that's done, let's test out the mechanism and make sure that it works. So your goal is to make sure that 
the image actually comes out. So you can see that we're having a little trouble here. And that's where the other components will come in. So if I lay it flat, you can see that it slides out like that. So if we were to lay this on top of a card, I would put it this way so that when our receiver flips it or slides it out, then the message would be right side up. So that would be what I would do. We would have to test it with a flower to see how that works or a picture. So it's a little tricky with the arrow and the square. They kind of built this a little differently uh, from what I've seen with other dies. So I had to play around with this a little bit, um, but it does work, which is awesome. And now I'm gonna show you um, how to add a few more embellishments to complete our card. The next step is to cut out these smaller dies. We have two circle dies and the one in the middle almost resembles a brad. And I'm gonna show you how to attach that to our magic window slider card. So here I've flipped it over and you can see at the center of like the star looking piece there, we have our circle. And what that does is it kind of stabilizes our little mechanism there. Let me just show you up close and see how that looks like. And then the next step is we are going to put the brad looking piece of die cut through there and I will show you how to attach it. So we're going to go through from the back and then glue it on the other side to this piece. You would put it through the back here and then this would come up here and then I am going to open that up and glue it on to our circle die. So this is what the fold will look like. So you're going to bend it down this way on both sides. And I'm going to attach our circle die on top. So now we have our circle die cut there. Let's see how our mechanism works now with that in place. So it works really nice. It keeps it nice and steady. You can see how smoothly that uh, window slides open. Now I want to put a little bit of a focal piece on the front. I'm sending this to a friend that also likes Sanrio. So I found this really cute sticker of Pochoco and I am going to put it right on top. It's like some foam tape on top of there just to create a little dimension. And let's see. That's so cute. Okay. And now we have, I see that shifting. You can always adjust that, but we are going to de decorate the borders and add a little more fun embellishments on this. Now, I think now that I'm thinking, I've decided to use this as a little box topper for some outgoing mail for one of my uh, friends that I'm sending some happy mail to. So let me grab that box and we will be decorating this uh, on the borders and on the sides. So here's my little box and I love that it has that gradient look with the colors of pink and purple. We're going to put it on top. Now just a little note, once you attach this to the base of your card or in this case box, you want to make sure you put the adhesive only on the sides and not on the circle because that will interrupt the magic a slider in a mechanism of the paper. So just put it on the side. So I'm going to do that and attach it to our box. So this is what it looks like with our double side tape on top. I'm going to go ahead and decorate the front side and I'll be right back. So here is my little box. I've decorated it. Um, not really over embellished, but I did add some of the favorite things my friend likes. She loves pink. So I added some pink ruffled trims. We have the glittery trim here on the border. And then here is the other die that came with the set. I cut out a fuzzy cut, a sentiment that says hello, put some flat back gems there and attach some hearts. So this will be perfect for cards. I mean, with Easter and Valentine's coming up, I think this will be perfect to you. So this is an example of how you would use it on a box topper. Um, so I put a little gem dot on our little pool here. Now I suggest that try not to put anything underneath that so it doesn't interrupt the mechanism when you're moving it and it goes smoothly. So let's try it out and see if it works. 
And there you go. Super cute. And I think my friend will like it. So now I have to fill this up with goodies. Now I wanted to show you a card that I did end up making using this die set. So here it is. I'm not a card maker, so I'm still um, kind of learning how to put all the components together. I have a six by six sheet here that we cut out again. We have a little sentiment here that says chasing dreams and a cute little sticker. This is simply decorated here. Here is our mechanism. And so when you slide it up, it reveals the night sky and some starry, starry night. So here is my cute card inside. It's plain. I can write my own sentiment in there. I may mat it with another scrapbook paper. Here is the back of the card. But I think it turned out really cute. And I love our cute little sticker there. So this is my card. I hope you guys enjoyed this quick tutorial on how to use Globaland's Magic Window Slider. I will give it an A plus in terms of the cutting. It cut really well. And for the mechanism, I really love it. I enjoyed it. As you can see, it works perfectly. You can also use these other components or other dies for other crafty projects. The possibilities are endless when it comes to these. You can use them as labels. I use them in my journals. These circle dies make cute tags, and these larger ones um, can make journal cards. You can make windows. There's so many ways. If you cut this with your uh, scrapbook paper, if you fold it in half, it becomes a bag top and you can just decorate it. So I think that's super cool. The only thing I will say, if you are new to using this type of die that's confusing in the beginning, is um, this little piece here in terms of the design. It's very small, but as you can see, there's a little slit right there that's supposed to slide in, and I'll show you what I mean. So here is where we would insert this little pull. Now this slit was supposed to go under this sheet. Now when I first tried it, it didn't quite work. So if you pull it out, then the mechanism works. So it doesn't bother me that I see this. I can definitely cover this up maybe with a sticker if you if that bothers you. I could even tie a little twine bow on top, but it works really nice. So you can see that with that out, it runs really smoothly and we have a beautiful interactive card. And I'm hoping in the future, if I have more time, I really wanna recreate a little mini album with some pictures and make something similar to this one. So stay tuned for that. So I hope you guys enjoyed it. If you are interested, I will have the link to this die set with a special discount code for you to use as well. Thanks again for watching. I'll see you next time. Bye.